In this video, we are going to see the second part of problem identification and formulation in research in a very detailed manner. Research is an organized endeavor. Like any other organized work, research requires proper planning. Planning means deciding in advance. Planning of research means deciding the question or issue to be studied, setting the objectives of the study and determining it means achieving those objectives. It is an intellectual process. It gives direction to the work. A researcher spends a great deal of time defining a research idea into a testable research problem. The process of defining a research problem are define a specific problem area, review relevant scientific literature, examine the problem's potential significance to the area, and pragmatically examine the feasibility of studying the research problem. Now let's see the details about the selection of a problem for research. The selection of a problem is the first step in research. The term problem means a question or issue to be examined. The selection of a problem for research is not an easy task. Itself is a problem. It is least amenable formal methodological treatment. Now let's see the sources to use in selecting a topic. They are printed sources, ongoing research projects and available data sets. Now let's see the details about how to identify and formulate a problem. The first one is consult the library and the next one is read written records or documents. Then another one is talk to informed others. The next one is where do you see problems that can ignite your mind to think about research? They are classroom, community, teaching experiences, classroom lectures, class discussions, seminars, workshops, paper presentations, internet, reading assignments, textbooks, research reports, term papers. Term papers are generally intended to describe an event, a concept or argue a point. A term paper is a written original work discussing a topic in detail. And the last one is consultation with course instructor, advisor, senior professors and other faculty members. Now let's see the sources of research problem. They are theory of one's own interest, daily problems, technological changes, unexplored areas and discussions with other people. Now let's see the characteristics of a good problem or topic. Topic must be grounded on some already known fact which is used to introduce the topic and from which the research problem comes from. A good problem or topic should be interesting. It keeps the researcher interested in it throughout the research process. It should be researchable. It can be investigated through the collection and analysis of data. It should be significant. It contributes to the improvement and understanding of educational theory and practice. Finally, it should be manageable. It fits the level of the researcher's level of research skills, needed resources and time restrictions. Now let's see the major research problems. It includes what is your area of interest? Where could you look for help in deciding upon a specific research problem? What criteria will you apply when deciding upon a specific research problem? How could you narrow down your research problem and how might your value judgments or preconceived ideas affect your research endeavors? A good problem statement exhibits the following. It clearly and unambiguously identifies the study variables. It clearly expresses the variables relationship to each other. It specifies the nature of the population being studied and it implies the possibility of empirical testing. We can say that a research is a creative work. Best selected problems serve its purpose and prove the solution to many identified and unidentified problems. Till now, in this video, we have seen some extra details about problem identification and formulation in a research in a very detailed manner. Hope you have understood it very clearly. Thank you for listening.